Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Doug with Artfully Rogue and today I've got to show you something that I found out recently that I think is pretty cool. Uh, if you've seen some of my past videos, uh, there's a few out there that uh, show making large sliding metal doors. Um, and there's a process that I use to add a rusty patina to the metal. Uh, I use vinegar typically and it seems to be the most consistent uh, as far as producing a, uh, I guess, a natural appearing rust on the doors in a quick fashion so that I can get the doors basically out the door and to the client. So I had a client that was uh, talking to me about wanting more copper in the door. Well, I don't often work with copper. It's, uh, it's a very soft metal. It's a bit expensive to work with. Uh, so it's not something I actually keep in the shop. And on several occasions, I've actually tried to find a patina that gives steel a copper look. All right. Um, looking on YouTube, most of what I find is how to copper plate. And through that process, I discovered that what they're using is a, is a chemical called copper sulfate. So my first task was to find copper sulfate. And doing some research, I found a product called Root Kill by Zep. The main ingredient in this is copper sulfate. So I'm gonna show you what I did the other day that I thought was really cool if you're trying to rust metal or you're trying to get some different looks on metal. And uh, yeah, you gotta check this stuff out. This is really cool. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to have to do is you're going to get yourself some root kill or at least something that has copper sulfate in the product. Now, you'll know it's copper sulfate because it is kind of this blue crystal uh, type of substance. Pour in some copper sulfate into a bucket, all right, and then just add water to it. Now I haven't worked out like any particular ratios or anything like that, but I've had probably about a cup of half of water, maybe a handful of the copper sulfate. And then basically, you just stir it until it's dissolved. Okay, I think that pretty much has dissolved all of the crystals. Uh, if you've ever seen that uh, that series Breaking Bad with Jesse and Walt and they're making meth, it's kind of what the blue crystals look like. Is the the blue crystals that they had that they used in the movie or in the sitcom or whatever you want to call it, the series. I wonder if that's what they used for the uh, prop meth, so to speak, was was copper sulfate. Okay, so once that is done, all right. I use a 22 gauge sheet steel. This is the type of metal that I use for my doors. Um, cold rolled, 22 gauge. Now this only comes with a peanut oil, I believe it's a peanut oil, that keeps it from rusting. So all I do is I just kind of give it a quick wipe. I don't prep it with anything, I don't put any degreasers or anything like that, I just prep it. Here is the cool part. I just take a regular chip brush. Now I'm gonna relocate this just a little bit and kind of tilt you down, give you a little bit more of an angle there. All right. I just start to paint this on. And you can see in some areas, boy, immediately, immediately it started to uh, react to the steel. This is what's nice about this copper, copper sulfate. Now this is pretty saturated right now. And I'm not sure if you can actually see this. Let me see if I can zoom in and you can just kind of watch this process happen. Um, can you see it kind of taking over the metal? It has totally taken over that metal. And that was quick. Now, if I go ahead and run more over it, it will 
wipe off some of that top layer. But you still have a really fast process of getting some patina on that steel. Now, if I were to take my cloth, I can wipe off some of that. But it does still leave some of the discoloration in the metal is still there. And then I can go back, even put on a second coat. I'm actually starting to get some, some color in there, like some blues, or at least it might be blue in my eyes. Uh, I don't know if I've told you guys, I'm colorblind, so I, I don't see colors the same way everybody else does. So to me, I'm like, oh, that's really kind of cool. All right. So now I'm going to show you the same thing on the same piece of steel. I'm going to saturate this with the copper sulfate. And then I'm going to use vinegar. If you're looking for something that is a faster process, then you gotta check this stuff out. It's really kinda cool. So I don't know about you, but for me, I find that really exciting uh, because it opens up a lot of potential for different designs and different colors and, and different techniques on the doors that I offer my clients. Um, it's even something that you could use if you're doing tabletops or, you know, art on the wall. Uh, but I thought it was a very cool process. So remember, copper sulfate on cold rolled steel reacts, you know, almost immediately and gives you some really cool colors and patterns. And now, I have noticed that over time it does start to dull as it continues to work. So you want to rinse the steel once you've reached a point where you like where it's at because it'll keep working. Um, let me show you some pieces that I did earlier and where they are now. And I didn't rinse them at all. They just kind of kept, I guess, eating away at the steel. Okay, so this is a piece that I did the other day. And it's hard to tell, but on this side is where I added the vinegar to the copper sulfate. And this was all just copper sulfate. So you can see how there's a slight difference. But here, let me show you something else on the other side. All right, this was a little bit more controlled where this was all brushed on copper sulfate, but then what I did is I sprayed on a uh, semi-gloss lacquer on top of that once it dried. And I don't know if you can see, but some patterns even developed into the semi-gloss and kind of created a, another pattern with, within the metal. So, Try some different things with this, uh, with this product. I mean, I think you can really get some cool things. This is stuff that excites me. I hope it excites you. Uh, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Uh, if you have some time on your hands, check out my other video about rusting metal. So we'll see you next time and have a great day.